Coming up in this video... Do you have a hard time differentiating between what is real and what is not? Well, these 30 scary videos won't help. They're the type to make you question reality. Number 30. Object Near the Moon what is that floating in the sky? This YouTuber captured a mysterious object hovering near the moon in the daytime sky. You probably wouldn't be able to see it with just the human eye. But as he zooms in closer, there is something clearly positioned there. Could it be the International Space Station? That might be the most likely candidate, judging from photographs of the station taken from Earth. Whether it's the ISS or not, the seemingly close proximity between these two satellites is probably an optical illusion. Well, let's hope it's not something more nefarious than that. Number 29. Quicksand You may have thought that quicksand is a thing of cartoons, but it's for real. This short clip shows what it's like to get stuck in quicksand. Keith, you should get out of that quicksand. Trying. Come on, get out of that quicksand, Keith. Quit messing around. Keith is struggling to extract himself from the quicksand, but he's also clearly enjoying it. But as we can see, quicksand isn't a cartoon myth. It's videos like these that truly make me question reality. Number 28, Stallion Encounter. While out for a ride in the UK, this pair of jockeys was in for the shock of their lives. The women are on horseback in a pasture when a stallion comes up behind them. I don't know where my stick is. Go on, get off. At first, it seems like they can just shoo the beast away, but then it's clear that the wild horse will not let up. Get <laughs> As they ride away trying to flee the animal, he continues to give chase. The stallion still won't let up and doesn't until they barricade themselves behind a gate. I'm no horse expert, so I'm not sure if anything more could have been done to prevent this. But I think this just goes to show that unexpected encounters can happen anytime and anywhere. Number 27. Peeking. Don't look over your shoulder. In this clip, a man is talking about something while holding what appears to be an item of clothing. But that's not what's interesting. Watch closely over his left shoulder, aka the right side of the screen. Did you see that? A dark shadow figure can be seen peeking over his shoulder. It quickly ducks back behind him. Before the lights brightened, you can see the figure even more clearly. You can't see anyone standing behind him. Did something come out of the Ouija board session? It sure seems like that's the case. Number 26, Tornado Ahead. 
There's nothing more terrifying than what you cannot see. Posted to the oddly terrifying subreddit, this scary video shows a drive along a highway at around 5.30 at night in December of 2021. After a moment, a storm bursts into view via multiple lightning strikes. And then on the horizon, you see it, a black funnel twisting ahead. The tornado appears to be straight on in the direction this car is driving. As the lightning continues to flash, the twister is moving off to the left and growing larger as the car approaches it. Many in the comments are wondering why the car continues to drive toward it. Notice the raindrops on the windshield. They're moving horizontally toward the twister. When this happens, as Redditor Ballpen Dodger notes, you're too close. And when you're facing a tornado like this, that is the last place you'd want to be. Number 25. Speaking to the ghosts. Don't mess with the Ouija board. Evil might answer. A group of friends was in the middle of a Ouija session when this happened. Watch the cupboard behind them. Alright, we ain't doing none of the TV sh oh, I think all this is fake. We just wanna ask simple questions. We ain't hold no sh just wanna see what the we made all After that, stuff gets real. Is there anyone else in here besides us? Can you hear me? From start to finish, this spirit wasn't having any of this group's chit chat. But don't worry, I'd be right behind them running out of there. I just worry what will happen next as they never ended the session. Number 24. At the bar. While opening the bar alone, this dude probably wanted to quit on the spot after seeing this. At work by myself. There's no one here. DJ's not here. There's no girls here. There's no guests here. It's just me. I'm opening up. There's no one on the stage. I came over here and was looking at the camera system. There is someone standing on the catwalk. There's... Oh my... What the f*** is that? The figure that he sees on the catwalk via the security cameras is not on the stage in front of him. While this may make most of us want to flee, some are saying the camera is simply frozen. But look closely at the time clock at the bottom. The seconds are moving just like they are in the rest of the security camera frames. So what is going on here? Did a spirit not hear the last call? Number 23. What is that? What is hiding beneath the rocks? This pile of boulders isn't what it seems. Hidden behind it is a layer. And in that layer is this. The dark creature hidden inside looks like a deformed demon. Its offset eyes blink before it hurries out of sight. Some in the comments think it's just someone who's been playing a game of hide and seek for a hundred years. Others think it's some kind of spirit. But TikToker Mick Harden Rodriguez 5 seems to have the best theory. He writes, It's called a fashan, Scottish word. Don't believe me, look it up. Well, I did and it seems pretty spot on. What do you think it is? Number 22. Cemetery Shadow Figure This paranormal investigator's creepiest capture in a cemetery is bone chilling. The YouTuber was exploring the hauntings at St. Joseph Cemetery near Kimswick, Missouri when she captured several EVPs. Michael. Michael? 
Later, while she was attempting to communicate with the passed on using a spirit box, Michael made his physical cameo. Watch to the right, just above the vehicle. Which grave is yours? Nobody appears to be in the vicinity, so to whom does this shadow belong? I vote for Michael. Number 21. McIntyr Villa While investigating the McIntyr Villa in Atchison, Kansas, Patrick and Jason of the Haunted Side face off with numerous entities. Do you want me to open that? Do you want him to open that? It off. It's not turning off. What? Off. It's, it says off. Reported incidents in this haunted place include lights turning on and off, in a tower with no electricity, figures in the window while no one's home, footsteps wandering the hallway, in the darkness of night, and so much more. While some music is playing, the guys are using a connect in a doorway. The spirit that they find there appears to be dancing. Roadway. Roadway. I can't get it, hold on. The figure's there. The figure's there in the hallway. I turned it off. It's not turning off. What? Off. It's, it says off. Later, as they're using an EMF meter, they come across this creepy doll and the spirit tells them to open the display case. Lights, there's orange and yellow and red. Open. It, you want me to open that? <laughs> you want him to open that? I just got chills like crazy. Yeah, that was pretty bizarre. The display case is locked tight, and maybe that's a good thing. Who knows what they might release. Number 20. Mansion Intruders A couple of influencers are reliving a horrific event after men broke into their home on the Gold Coast. The home invasion was captured on camera in February of 2022. The video shows the terrifying moment that the suspects, dressed in hoods, broke into the $2.75 million mansion of Chloe Shepinowski and Mitchell Orval. So we sold our house and we have an apartment, so we just moved into that. Till we find the house again. <laughs> Till we find another apartment. Mitch wants another apartment. But I want During the standoff, the suspects are seen taking the couple's vehicle at 3 a.m. As one of them opens the gate, the other jumps in the car and attempts to back out of the driveway. Only, he is blocked momentarily by Mitch, who races out to try and prevent it. The driver tries to mow him over. Chloe says she thought her husband had his life taken by the intruders. The couple and their son were sleeping when the intruders broke into their property. Chloe is reported as saying that this is the third time in 2022 that their home was broken into. They are currently in the process of finding a new one. That's probably for the best. Number 19. Basement of Abandoned House Don't go into the basement. This paranormal investigator did, and he barely made it out alive. According to the channel, this abandoned house is saturated with evil, in particular the gloomy basement here. He went inside to check it out. This is what happened. First, an invisible baby is apparently being wheeled around.
and when he gets closer, he sent this warning. He then sets up an EGF session to commune with the spirits, and he hears some strange noises on the landing. Through a spirit box, the ghost hunter is told that the spirits are playing here. We're playing. We are bored. What holds you here? We are playing here. What do you mean? Play with us. Would you play with them? What happened to you? They seem to be inviting you in. Number 18. Execution Apparition. This paranormal crew's third visit to this prison did not disappoint. CVS Paranormal enters Dorchester Prison, a criminal facility in which executions have been carried out. In previous investigations of this prison, the team has captured some truly eerie figures on camera, like this one. As the team enters, whispering is heard on the audio. This is a big main entrance where down there is, um, yeah. Big main entrance where down there is, um. A second EVP captures a low growl. Prisoner was in here. Prisoner was in here. This is shortly followed by a door closing or opening. Sounded like a growl or something. Sounded like a growl or something. And scratching noises. This is a big one. Definite noises. This singing is what's really chilling. I, I just heard, I swear I just heard singing. It sounded like it's coming from here as well. Soldier. Oh! But it's when you're not searching for ghosts that they come find you. Trust me. It seems Dorchester Prison is truly rife with activity, but whether it's good or evil is anyone's guess. Number 17. Creepy Apparition While exploring an abandoned hospital, Chelsea encounters her creepiest apparition yet. Watch the crack in the door. This encounter is accompanied by further paranormal activity. As she continues with her investigation, it becomes clear that she's not alone. I have a good feeling that we'll get some activity in that area. So I'm gonna set that down now. And after hearing the spirit, she sees it. As she's explaining a paranormal device to her audience, it explains everything for her. It'll go off if it kind of senses any energy around it. See? <laughs> like that. The activity keeps getting stronger. What? Hello? Something's walking around in there. 
but somehow Chelsea remains relatively calm. I don't understand. Nobody's in here. All right. Stop. Stop. Is that going faster? And then something calls out from the beyond. What was that? Did you hear that scream? What the? F the spirit seems to be welcoming her. Yeah, spirit, did you, uh, did you, uh, did you, uh, should she answer the call? That's a no from me. Number 16. Mount Morris Mystery House What happened at the Mount Morris Mystery House in Pennsylvania? The homeowners reached out to Spirit Walk Paranormal after a spirit claimed they'd find human remains on the property, and they did soon find something. What looks to be a canvas-style material that has deteriorated over time. Is it a body? Yes, but it's not what you think. And that still doesn't make any sense. No. It had some sharp teeth. You think? The mystery continues as they use dousing rods to speak with the spirits. Do you know that I'm recording you on video right now? Can you point him to Ferris right? Is there someone else buried in the yard here? Finally, they ask the spirit to point them in the right direction. Where should we go? I just want to make a note that only the one rod has moved. This is almost like a treasure hunt. X marks the spot. If that's where, it, where Tyler just marked, make an X if that's where it needs to be. Now it's time to start digging. Yeah, I went to this, because look. Mm-hmm. It's glass. I hit roots. They get nearer. Although they don't find the bodies they were looking for, they do find something else. So we just found a hand grip from a revolver. Now it is made of plastic, so it suggests that it is newer. Do you think it's relevant? Or are there more secrets on this property? Number 15, in the doorway. Gautam is exploring this creepy abandoned place when he discovers someone is watching him. He is communicating through dousing rods but soon finds the entity as other means of communication. Are you there means say yes or else no. Hey really, six prints are there? At first, things are just a bit loud. Then they get a little louder. If you see, I'm not touching anything. Ah, ah, ooh. ooh. And when he can't get out, the terror comes for him. This door was open, but again it is closed. <laughs> Allow me to go out. Do you think he left it behind? I truly hope so. Number 14. Creepy figure. What is this creepy figure skulking in the darkness? The group encountered the creature at night hiding behind a pile of logs. Like this. Come on, let's go. Hey, come on, let's go. Come on, come on, come on. 
The figure appears like a woman, but not quite human. Take a closer look. Is this an extraterrestrial? A ghost, perhaps? Your guess is as good as mine. Number 13. In the rear view. Don't look behind you. This scary video is trending in the Arabic-speaking YouTube community. After witnessing something terrifying, this man flees to his car, but that something is there waiting for him. The creepy video, originally posted to TikTok by TV, also reveals what initially scared the man. But as we already know how it ends, the man clearly has nowhere to run and nowhere to hide. If I were him, I'd be getting the heck out of that house ASAP. Number 12. Hinsdale House The Hinsdale House in New York is haunted, and these paranormal explorers are about to find out just how haunted it truly is. Early on, the spirits don't seem to want to be recorded. It's funny here. The REM pod upstairs starts going off. <laughs> Is that your REM upstairs? Shh. Yeah, I turned it on. It's up in Laura's doorway. Well, can you hear it? It's beeping. It was, yeah. It's, it's going off again up there. After hearing a woman talking in the kitchen, the REM pod is triggered again. Are you here with us right now? Oh, the kitchen. You wanna, so, I think she said, ask, ask me or ask me. The crew is then given a clear message via a spirit box. I'm gonna take a couple pictures. What did that say? Run. Run. When they don't leave, the spirits continue to interact. They even ask for help. Can you light it up again in five, four, three, two, one. Oh. Is this what the dandies had to deal with on the regular? No wonder they fled this house. Number 11. Akka the Haunted Doll This doll looks innocent enough, but is it? Molly, also known as Akka, is pure evil. Here is proof. The conversation starts out simple. One of the objects I've put near your vessel. Thank you. Thank you, Molly. When the paranormal investigator presses further, she receives a confirmation. Molly, can you just confirm that this is you? Yeah. She also reveals her true feelings. Are you negative and grumpy? No. Are you misunderstood? Thank you. And then the question we'd really like to know the answer to... Do you wish to harm anyone in this house? Yes. But Molly doesn't just want to harm anyone. She's got a specific person in mind. Do you wish to harm my son, Sam? Yes. It's probably time to take your son, Sam, and get out of Dodge. Number 10. 
witch's cabin. Ghost Club Paranormal is spending the night at a cursed witch's cabin in the middle of the forest, and you better believe that terror unfolds. While attempting to commune with the spirits, they hear them walking overhead. How many people are here? Do you hear that? The spirit then confirms its presence. Upstairs. If that was somebody trying to communicate, can you do that again? When they set up the spirit box, several paranormal devices are triggered. Oh, that light just came on. I just got it. <laughs> are you sitting over by the bar? Oh, oh, me too. They question the spirits and are answered. Did a man die here? And then the spirits start playing games. Let's uh, go downstairs again and we'll take this a little faster. Though. Hey. Oh. You did see that, right? Did you touch that? I didn't even touch it. Did, are you I me didn't, right I didn't, now? I didn't touch it. Later, as one of the crew turns on the spirit box, the flashlight dims. I'm gonna stick this on again real fast. The spirits are descending. But we have heard a man. And they continue to communicate through lights. What does that matter? Oh. Whoa. The second I put this on night vision, that flashlight just started going like crazy. And taps. Was that you that just touched my head? Tapping again. Is this the witch trying to get closer to them? Or one of the witch's victims? Number 9, Downtown Savannah. The G Team visited Downtown Savannah, Georgia at night in this paranormal investigation. The first spirits they meet seem to be super friendly. In the streets around here. Hi. Did it just say hi? Oh. They begin to feel a presence around them. Okay, so when I was over there a few minutes ago, I thought I somebody walked up behind me and I looked around there was nobody there and you were way over that way peering into the Davenport house the lady's spidey senses start to tingle oh that's weird look at that so this is the Davenport house then, as they're standing outside more historic buildings, they hear this mysterious noise. Oh, what was that? Did you hear that? I did. And even creepier, they see what appears to be a shadow entity. In the end, the G team is feeling such creepy vibes that they call it a day. Get this sketched out no. very easily. I'm usually the one getting the sketched out feelings, but she's got it really bad. I'm like, usually, let's do it. Let's go for it. Let's get in there. <laughs> Would you keep up the search? Me neither. Number eight, Basement Ghost. Dark Ghost Paranormal's Dennis is battling a ghost. In this paranormal investigation, according to Dennis, a female ghost has crawled out of the basement and he's here to communicate with her. She quickly makes her presence known. You can see this disturbance from another angle as Dennis stands away from the cupboard. And things only get weirder from there. As he's speaking to the spirit via a spirit box, suddenly things go haywire. Whoa. 
What the heck? Whoa, 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 whoa. Dennis still isn't done playing with fire, and before he knows it, the walls start caving in. Here's the incident from another angle. Finally, she makes her appearance in the dirt and dust. What does the spirit want? I'm worried she wants his timely demise. Number 7. Church of Demons No one is safe in this Church of Demons. Jody from Hunting the Dead enters this very scary church whose entities are highly active. Can you, can you knock like you just did a moment ago in the direction where I can find you? They really do seem like they have something to say. But I'm going to say a prayer right now. And if there is something truly demonic here. <gasps> yo, yo. <gasps> that something seems urgent. Do you mind if I'm here? He hears a wail in the distance. And things start to spin. Yo, what? Dude, I'm not losing it. That light just came on and that fan just moved a little bit. Then things light up. When the demons start to whistle, you know it's time to leave. Yo, yo, yo. Jody doesn't heed their warnings, and he pays the price. If there's anything you want to say, speak into my camera. What do you think these demons were trying to communicate? Whatever it is, they got their points across. Number 6. Missing Boy These guys were wandering through the forest when they encountered someone who at first appeared lost. But after a moment they realized something was very wrong. Has he got any chance? You all right, mate? Hello, mate. He's got something in his hand. Whoa, 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 why have you got an axe? Come on, lower it down. After this strange encounter, the boys follow the crazy man's rubbish to its hiding place. Be cautious, Luke. The roof looks like it's about to collapse. That's not rubbish, bro. Figure, ain't it? Hello? When they realize it's a person, and a living person at that, they start to unravel the bag and the mystery. Oh, fag. He's alive, bro. He's alive. He's alive. Where's he gone? Is he gone? Oh my God. What? Oh my God. Did he take you? What was this axe man going to do with this boy? What is that? There was someone there. There was someone there. What is that? He's back, bro. He's back. After this most recent encounter, we could probably guess. Number five. Creep in the window. This room appears empty, but there's clearly something lurking just outside the window.
An employee enters shortly after, reaching in to turn on the light. As he turns toward the window, the mysterious mist emerges, striking the man to the ground. He lies still there for a long while, and then his soul appears to leave his body. It leaves through the open door. What was this figure like mist creeping in through the window? And what did it do to this man? Did the demon take his soul? This video has left me with more questions than answers. Number 4. Creepy Puppet Radifac has come to play. As this YouTuber explains, this creepy puppet was once a popular TV show character in Czechoslovakia on a Sesame Street type show. The show went off the air in 1989, leaving Radifac out of work. In fact, it's believed he was discarded with the trash. But that's not the whole story. A YouTuber somehow rediscovered Radifac and revived him. But do we want his resurrection? Maybe it's best to let sleeping dogs lie. Number 3. Departed Son Captured on Camera We'd all like to think our loved ones never leave us, and maybe they don't. This woman believes her security camera captured her son on video. The only problem? Her son passed away years prior. The boy's mother was watching TV with her daughter when her camera's app alerted her to someone near her entryway door. January 5th, 2019 The video shows a figure in the hallway. No one was around at the time, but the family believes the figure looks like her son, who passed away of an accidental overdose in 2016. Is this her son's ghost? Let's hope for the sake of this mother that it is. Number 2. Bel Air House while investigating the haunted Bel Air house, Sonny finds that the stories are true. Sonny's experience there gets off to a rocky start. The crew starts to sense things and hear things. Oh my What? Oh man, Sonny was coming up. You cheating, why you got your light on? I well, I was trying to come down steps. You got your light on too. Y'all up here like a bunch of turn your light off. Ah, my light is off, man. Okay. And then footsteps. Came over here. Sounded like footsteps, but I think uh, maybe picking up Christmas. But do they belong to his crew, or is someone unseen closer than he thinks? Either way, I think it's time to find the exit of this place. I've got a challenge for you. Since you've made it this far, why not like this video and hit subscribe in the next 5 seconds? Because I upload 4 new scary videos every week. If you're curious about what I look like in real life, then go to my Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT and tap that follow button to find out. Number 1. Waterfall Person TikToker Phoebe Daniels has just one question. Is that a person? While taking a video of a waterfall, this woman spotted something mysterious amongst the cascading water.
The scary video shows a dark, caped figure appearing amongst the falls. It quickly ducks down and dives beneath them and out of sight. So back to Phoebe's question, is that a person? If not, what is it? Some in the comments think a rock in the water blocked the falls momentarily, forming a humanoid shape. Others think it's a shadow person or a watcher. Personally, I definitely see something there, but I'm unsure on what exactly it could be. What do you think it is? Have you ever been filming but accidentally caught something more than you intended to? Well, it's more common than you think. These are the 15 scary videos filmed by accident.